Right, welcome back. Um, so we've had some new bits and bobs. We've opened the little one already. CPU, AMD, got the cooler. We're gonna be using this cooler because uh, we may look at upgrading later on, but I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do for that. There's a CPU chip we're gonna leave over there at one side. We've got Vengeance RAM. So we're gonna crack that open. This is going to be for the second PC. Um, this may become the main streaming PC, keeping the gaming PC free. So there you have stick around. The box. Gotta love it when we put these boxes in so tight you can't even get in. There you go. just about get in on cam. We'll take it out of the bag. <sighs> so there we have the motherboard RAM wise. which slots to use first. We're going to shove it into any slot and we'll double check that in a moment. That keeps the installation side in nice and quick. Our right, next step is going to be the CPU. Right, so first off, we've reconfigured the RAM. I believe it's now in the right slots. CPU, we're going to drop in. This is always going to be a fun one. Haven't done a CPU with pins in a long time. And that is not in yet. There you go. In and lock. Right, so that's that in. For the cooler, Actually, before we go any further, oops, just gonna go what came through in the motherboard. So, you got yourself some zip ties, we have the SLI card. We won't be using that either. We've got the SATA cables. One. And two. Lovely jubbly. Got your little screws. I believe that's for your NVMe drives. Republic of Gamers card. More quick instructions. More again, very exciting. I believe we've got some cabling. I think this is for lighting or fans. I'm sure we'll find out later on. Same again here. Driver's disc. 
and a little door hanger to tell everyone to go and away when you're playing your games. Big deal. So, nothing very exciting. Right, next step is going to be mounting the cooler. Right, we're going to have a bash now at mounting the cooler. It's already pre-configured, so we're not going to mess with that. Um, I could take it off and change it, but I'm probably going to be changing this in a couple of months, depending on how well it performs. So we'll go with the stock cooler for now, stock paste. So unless this turns out to be really bad, then I may take it back off and repaste it. But otherwise, this is gonna go straight on. So I'm gonna do it this way round, because I'm hoping I can get it to work this way. Should be the same either way. So you just got to get that tab down first, and then we can have a go at pushing this down if it'll let me without wiggling around too much. Oh, well, that's our first problem. Don't want the handle getting stuck. There we are. So that's the cooler installed torsion down. So now we're ready to get this into the motherboard and then uh, we'll have a look a bit closer then with regards to what have we got? We've got some USB. So this like us, looks like it's to do the, the lighting. So we'll have a look at that later now. So for now we're gonna take this I believe upstairs now and have a look at installing into the motherboard. Uh, into the case sorry. Right, so back to the old R5 case. We did think of putting into another one, but it's not going to work in terms of positioning. Uh, so what we're going to do... I think on this one I'm going to put the fan on the inside. We're in by there, so I've got to get some mounting screws and then we can start pinning all this together. Right, so I've done the screwing side of it. You don't need to see me doing some screws. So the motherboard's in, so the next step now we're gonna, I think we might try and tie, cable tidy this in. We're gonna route that in and come out through the top there. Um, again, I'll do that off camera because I've got to rearrange and fix this rubber seal on here, which isn't in properly, but I'll do that in a moment. Oh, there we are. That's back in, and of course I don't have the room, so what I'm going to do is do a job, come back to it, show you, do a job, come back, because I literally just don't have the room to play around, so back soon. Right, so we're jumping back in, there's a bit of the wiring done, as you can see the SSDs in, cable tidies, they're a little bit tidy, could be a little bit better obviously, but to be honest this is a PC that's going to be tucked out of sight, so let's see if we can just get the back of this case on always proves to be a bit more problematic than it needs to be. And what we can do then, we can turn it over. Show the other side. Right. Right, there you go. That's the main side. As neat as I can get it. I think I've got all the fans in, CPUs in, RAMs in. Power supply is all done. So I need to get a graphics card in. Uh, I'm gonna be using a very basic graphics card in this one. Um, it's mainly CPU power I'm after anyway. Um, hopefully I've got the graphics card to do the job. If I don't, it means I'm gonna to have to buy a graphics card to go with this. Um, what I'll do though, 
I'll get this plumbed in, get the bio sorted, and we'll come back to it, show you the, the end result, and then we have it. So anyway, back soon. So there we go, guys. That's the PC. Let me stop my shaky hands. That's the PC up and running. Yes, it's a case off time, BIOS setting time, you know, configure all the drives, get everything back up and running the way it was. As you can see, just the basic graphics card, a GTX 460. It's just to get the PC going. Uh, if this pans up well, then the CPU will do all the work. Um, if it's not, then it will be upgrade the GPU and we'll probably go for something like an RTX 2060. Uh, but as it stands, that's it. So I'm going to leave this there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you sometime soon.